If you had one of the first affordable computers in the early 80s, it was probably this one. It's a Timex Sinclair 1000. It's the American version of the ZX81. And it had a massive 2K of memory. And you could buy this expansion pack for the back of it that would raise you up to a massive 16K of memory. And I've got this one hooked up to this printer I finally got my hands on. Timex Sinclair 2040. And the way you put programs into this is with the old tape recorder, cassette recorder. And you'd hook it up to the there's the ear connection and a mic connection and the ear goes to the ear and the mic goes to the mic and you have the volume up pretty high up like eight or nine almost max and then on the video it was the RCA type jack back there and it went to one of those old game TV switches and uh the problem is that video doesn't work on modern TVs, so on this one I did a modification to composite video, and I'll show you how to do that in a different video. And from there I'm going to a capture card on my computer, a little capture device, so I can see it on the monitor. And the program I'm testing today is called ViewCalc. It's a spreadsheet, kind of like Excel. The first thing I noticed is that you uh, they didn't give you much information on doing formulas. So you kind of need to have help with that. So I got a hold of this book. And on the screen, you can only see three lines or three boxes across and nine down. But actually, the whole sheet is way bigger than that. Here's a picture of how big it is it's 26 long and 36 wide. So you have almost a thousand boxes there that you can put data or formulas into. Right here I did a quick test with the pay sheet from 1982. I got hours of labor and material used for Monday through Friday in January of 1982. Then a couple formulas down there added up. So that's the whole test. Let's see if it prints. Look at what the screen does while you're printing. I copied the sheet that I did for a test back to the cassette. Now all I have to do is reload it to make sure that it worked. So let's do that. Alright, let's restart the computer. When it gets finishing loading, you get a K prompt in the corner. Then let's type load quote quote that'll make it load the first program it comes to so you start you press play on the tape recorder and enter now the screen turns all squiggly
see it went to darker lines right there. That's right where the program started to load. It says it takes six and a half minutes to load that one. Well, we'll wait and see. I won't make you watch the whole six and a half minutes. Well, it hasn't been near six and a half minutes yet. It's maybe been about three, three and a half or four. But the tape counter says I'm getting close. And there it is. Okay, I can interview Calc or I can continue. So I'll press C to continue. There it is. The data came back. It works. It's wonderful news. So, that's what you would have had. All this high technology. And you could actually have a working spreadsheet. <clears throat> Here's some of the books you would have had. Here's the Timex Sinclair user manual. It came with it. The Timex personal computer made simple. Timex Sinclair user guide. Uh, Timex Sinclair user. This issue is uh, volume one, number five. Then Sync Magazine for the Timex Sinclair user. One thing I noticed is that they kept printing this book until 1994, so people kept using this thing, you know, a decade after it came out. 